The National Primary Health Care Development Agency has graduated fellows of the Oxford Policy Management Results-Based Fellowship Program as technical assistants in health financing after undergoing a 10-month rigorous, not so easy training, excelling at tasks written and practical assignments, internship programs. The agency engaged experienced and knowledgeable consultants from the Oxford Policy Management Nigeria team. The executive director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shoaib, speaking through one of the directors in the agency, Dr. Oladimiji Olayinka says the agency, in its quest to ensure healthcare delivery of the primary healthcare systems in Nigeria, it has incorporated the spirit of technical assistance in executing its core mandate of improving overall population health, both in quality and in quantity of healthcare service delivery. Hence, the graduation for the first time ever in Nigeria of indigenous technical assistance in results-based health financing. 14 persons went through rigorous selection process, seven in service and seven full-time fellows. The RBA TA fellow structured, structure used work-based approach whose curriculum was designed as an integration of formal learning and work-based activities. The aim is to develop the skills and knowledge of the fellows through technical, professional, and behavioral competencies. Hence, each of the formal learning block was followed by field practice under the tutorship of the RBFTA's resident in the project states. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to celebrate the graduation of Nigerian nationals with technical, managerial, and behavioral competencies, competencies to serve as RBFTAs for RBF projects in Nigeria, as well as any part of the world. I am most delighted amongst you today, and I give glory to God for making this journey one of the successes achieved under my management. I sincerely thank the board, management, and all the staff of the agency for giving me their solid support, and I must not forget to appreciate the efforts and sacrifices made by OPM. Participants were drawn from three states in Nigeria, which includes Adamawa, Ondo, and Nasarawa states. Some of the key roles of the RBFTA, CMBAs, and IVAs include, one, providing technical assistance to operationalize the RBF project at the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency and the states of Ondo, Anasarawa, and Adamawa. Two, helping the states implement the project by designing and defining operational procedures for resource-based financing, DFF, and DLIs, and building institutional capacity of the NPSCD and SPSCDs to carry out purchasing verification, and oversight functions. Thirdly, assisting the states and the LGAs to make operational their DLIs and scorecard through an advisory function. And fourthly, to build the capacity of nationals while leading the separation of functions component. The RB Health Technical Assistance has been concentrated for both NSHIP and the AF through highly competitive process, has been contracted for both the NSHIP and AF through highly competitive process. OPM was responsible for technical backstopping in the NSHIP states while indigenous private firms have been contracted as contract management and verification agents and independent verification agents for the additional financing states. This is made possible through the lessons learned from OPM. The Oxford Policy Management Nigeria consultants also advised that it will be beneficial and sustainable if the program 
is institutionalized in Nigeria as it will increase capacity building in health financing going forward for a total coverage of population health. Build the capacity, the, um, the competence yeah, of uh, 13 fellows. And, but the, um, as you know, the challenges of healthcare in Nigeria are huge. It's a big country. So there is um, a greater gap to be filled. And what we would hope is that a Nigerian institution, maybe an academic institution, will take up this program, um, both in terms of the objectives and the, uh, and the design and the delivery yeah, of, that, um, of that program. Um, because it's just like I was saying earlier, um, you know, Nigeria has reached a stage where it mustn't be importing too much. Yeah? Yeah? And, and certainly in this program, uh, with the right institution, it can be self-sufficient, it can train yeah, more fellows. We just ended the um, OPM results-based financing uh, fellowship program in Nigeria. We've just graduated for uh, 13 fellows. Um, uh, it's um, the first of its kind that we have tried in the whole world. Um, we are happy that uh, it did go quite well for 10 months. Um, we, are, we developed the, the program alongside the Nigerian government through the, 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 the National Primary Health Care Agency. We think that it would be wonderful for the Nigerian government to institutionalize this venture, look for a university setup that will host it, and then uh, OPM could be providing technical assistance to the Nigerian government uh, through that, uh, that, that institution. And it has to be an institution that is running a, health, a public health department that is also um, into healthcare financing. Uh, a project so that we, we embed it into it and we train many more Nigerians and many more international uh, 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 participants uh, to have a fellowship for 10 months up to one year. It's a, a real novelty. The National Programme Officer Hajia Binta Ismail commented on plans the agency has to institutionalize the training of technical assistance in health financing among other plans okay um, we're discussing with some institutions in the country to see how this can be part of the curriculum of health financing in the country also the agency is looking at the leadership academy training this course will also be one of the modules in the training and that will also happen in the first quarter of next year one of the beneficiaries described the experience as special and first of its kind. The thing that stands out is that this is the first of its kind. In over 40 countries that are implementing RBF, this is the first time. Um, secondly, is that Nigeria is beginning to boost a lot of capacity to drive airship. Um, globally now, this is the approach to go to get quality results for your one dollar, for your one error. And so we are believing that um, a program like this to enhance local capacity for Nigeria to be able to help us to improve our health service delivery is the way to go. Certificates were presented to graduates who spent 10 months to emerge fellows of the Oxford Policy Management Nigeria RBF program. We have Hassan Adamu Mohamed. We have Hiladira. Hiladira. We have two females in uh, these are our groups. Hiladira, thank you. And we have uh, Ibiemi Monisade. She is coming with the 15th fellow. Let's appreciate her. Yes, this baby was born when we are running this program, and uh, it's really a blessing. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
to the glory of God and for the development of mankind. I formally welcome these brand new fellows to the primary healthcare family as the first indigenous RBI fellows in Nigeria. It was a dream initially, but now it's a reality. And we have 13 international qualified RBFTA in the country. <laughs> These people will not only support the project, Enship, but beyond Enship, all RBFTA program in the country we will call upon them every time, every minute. Because the process that brought them on board from the beginning to the end, it's all based on merit. And we are very happy that we can proudly say we have international RBFTA in Nigeria. I want to congratulate you all. I want to appreciate you. In case you didn't know, the World Health Organization support for health systems financing shows how important it is. And in its World Health Report of 2010, described health systems financing as the pathway to universal health coverage. Little wonder why the National Primary Health Care Development Agency under the leadership of Dr. Faisal Shuaib, is graduating indigenous result-based fellows in health financing. In case you didn't know, health financing promotes raising funds for health, reducing financial barriers, among other reasons. Stakeholders hope that these indigenous technical assistants graduated will enhance and increase capacity in health financing going forward, causing a positive contribution to the primary health care system in Nigeria and the health sector as a whole.